Hi, this is Alessio. Hope you're well. In this video, we're going to take a look at the chart of Bitcoin. In particular, we're going to focus on the recent action here on the chart of Bitcoin and the fact that we've now taken out the June lows. So I'm going to explain to you what this potentially means and the important structure on the chart we should be watching in the next few weeks. All right, guys, join me. All right, guys, welcome back. Now, before we continue, I just want to give a quick shout out to Alexandra Overgaard, who does some brilliant and wonderful research on crypto and Bitcoin. So if you haven't already subscribed to her newsletter, I would highly suggest you do so. She does uh, some great research uh, on Bitcoin and crypto from a fundamental perspective. And again, it's a free newsletter. Do check it out. I'll put the link for you guys in the description. If you like it, please subscribe to her newsletter. She publishes every month and I think it's certainly worth the read. All right, guys, welcome back. Now, as we've seen in the last few days, Bitcoin has had a very intense and dramatic breakdown below the supporting structure at the 17,585 level here, the June lows. And you can see we hit oversold conditions here as we hit this level of 16K. We also hit oversold conditions on the RSI from which we bounced from, which had a nice bounce so far. Now, before we dig into the current price action, I wanna first of all play for you what I said back in August. In fact, what I said back on the 14th of August when Bitcoin was rallying in this structure. All right, guys, there's something very important that I mentioned at the time, in fact, in our members video. Let me play it for you very quickly. We'll come back. The fact is that this movement is still very much overlapping. An overlapping structure, okay, is not a good sign for price, uh, again, for any market, because it's a sign that this is a corrective rally rather than an impulsive rally. So we've got two kinds of rallies, uh, corrective and impulsive. Corrective if, it, if it's a corrective rally, which is looking rather likely because of the way it's moving, uh, it could mean a lower low. It could mean that the if the next pullback occurs, if the, if the next major decline could potentially push it back, at least a test of prior low or indeed lower low. All right, guys, welcome back. Thanks for listening to that, because what I said back at the time was very important and I think still is, because whenever a structure rallies like this, we have to always look at the structure and the way it's rallying. See, a lot of people mistakenly think that all rallies, that all uptrends are the same. They're not. In fact, let me explain to you. Let me go on this chart you're seeing here on this particular charting structure. Now, notice I'm showing you two different patterns. By the way, I explained this to you. You may remember about a couple of months ago, I think it was back in September and I think it was back in August as well. And I said at the time that we need to be very careful when a market's going up but with lots of overlaps, as you can see here on this structure you're seeing here. And what I mean by overlap, some people who watched that video probably did not understand, didn't understand what I meant by overlap. What I mean is simply this, when a market's going up like this, pay attention to the corrective waves. Look at the downward moving waves. So for example, this one and this one. Now notice all these corrective pullbacks, they all move in the same territory as one another. In other words, they are merging in the same territory. So for example, this particular decline here, was moving in the same territory as this previous decline here. Okay, that's an overlap. The same happened over here. Notice this decline here moved in the same territory as this previous wave. In other words, they overlapped, as you can see there. The same happened over here. This decline here went in the territory of the previous decline, as this one did here, as this one did here, and so on and so on. Now, if you look on the right-hand side, notice you will see something different. This structure did not have an overlap. Specifically, I'm talking about these declines here. Notice this decline, there was no overlap with this one, okay? So you will see that this particular corrective declining structure did not go in the same territory as the previous one, okay? Therefore, there is no overlap. So what does this mean? It means that whenever you see a pattern that looks like this, be very careful. Yeah, because some people who are not familiar with technical analysis, maybe they've read some books or watched some videos on technical analysis, but the fact is most textbooks do not even mention this, that not all uptrends look the same. So for example, a textbook or someone out there who, who's read about technical analysis might think, okay, well, you have an uptrend here, don't we? Because you have a series of, you know, you might say you have a series of higher highs, okay? Higher highs and higher lows, right? So most textbooks mention this, but here's the problem. What they don't mention is the overlapping structure, as you can see here. So again, that's why we need to remember not all uptrends look the same. They're not all equal. For example, this one, notice in this particular structure on the right-hand side, this one, you can see that the higher high, higher low structure, 
higher high, higher low, they're not overlapping. This is an important tool, an important principle to remember. And by the way, notice that in this structure on the right hand side with five waves as well, which again shows to us it's impulsive. So bottom line is this guys, bottom line is if you see an overlapping rally, a structure like this is going up, but it's overlapping like this, it's much more likely to be corrective. And what does that mean if it's corrective? It means it's much more likely to fail and result in another continuation of the downtrend or bear market. Let me just mention this too. There is another kind of structure that you need to be aware of as well. And I mentioned this in my previous videos, which is this one where you have a three wave structure in a rally. So if price goes up, as you can see here, in three waves, okay, and especially, especially if the C wave, if the third wave here, that's about a hundred percent projection. In other words, if this third wave, or let's call it the C wave, if this is about the hundred percent, or let's say 138.2% projection, of the previous A wave, okay, let me just write this down. So if the C wave is equal to 100% or 138.2% of the A wave of A, okay, so we need to be very careful because we're probably dealing only with a three wave structure, which means it could be corrective. Here's an example for you. This is back in the spring of this year and you'll see what Bitcoin did here. If we measure the first wave, that's the first wave, okay, and we project this, we project that first wave from this low, okay? Notice the 100% projection gives us that dashed red line that you see right there, okay? So, by the way, I'll do this for you so you can actually see it. If I do the Fibonacci extension, if I measure that this first rally, okay, measure that, and then project that from that low, there it is. So you can see that much more clearly now. And notice we're exactly 100% that's an exact 100% projection of wave A. And notice what happened here. At this point, it rolled over and began to decline again and drop. Okay. So again, this was a likely, this tells us there was a likely A wave, B wave, and C wave. Now I know what some of you are probably thinking. Some of you are probably thinking, well, how do you know this was an ABC? What if this was one, two, three? No, here's why. Because notice, as I explained to you a few minutes ago, it could not be a one, two, three, because notice this corrective drop and this drop are now overlapping. You see, overlap. This drop cannot be wave four, because if, if you're thinking, now if somebody out there is thinking, oh, this was wave four, no, 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 it cannot be the case, wrong. Because that corrective potential wave four is now overlapping, going in the same territory as wave, wave two, wave one and two. Therefore, no, guys. That is incorrect. I'll give you another example. This is the rally we had back in August, which I explained to you just a few minutes ago. Now, again, to the untrained eye, to someone who's not very familiar with, with Elliott wave theory, they're thinking, well, this is probably five waves. They're, they're thinking, well, this is uh, an uptrend because you've got a series of higher highs and higher lows. Wrong. Again, notice the overlaps, which I explained to you a few minutes ago. But apart from that, apart from that, notice if we measure the first wave, and then project this from the bottom of the likely wave two, notice it only goes up to the 100% projection and the 138.2% extension, okay? Notice these are the numbers I have here on my chart, 1382 and the 100%, okay? So again, notice that we're only rallying to these extensions, the 100% and the 138.2% extensions. What we need to remember is that a five wave structure, an impulsive five wave structure goes way beyond, it goes way beyond these extensions. Uh, so these are not enough. If you see a rally that only goes up to the 100% and the 138.2% extensions and then fails, rolls over, okay? Notice again, we have an overlap, overlap here with this wave, with this wave, okay? Therefore, no we're likely dealing with a corrective rally, a corrective structure, which means this entire rally was more likely to be an ABC rally, okay? So that's the thing to bear in mind. All right, guys, let's go back to this chart. Now that we've understood these important principles, for example, about the structure of a wave of a rally, and also about the principle of overlaps and non-overlaps, now we can begin to understand more clearly why this rally here failed, okay? And it's important, I think this will be very useful to you the next time you see an important rally on Bitcoin as well. Always look at the structure. Although I should say to you that the intensity and the speed of this drop we had here just recently in the last few days, it was not something I had anticipated. So again, it took me a little bit by surprise as well. 
But in any case, here's the, here's the bottom line, guys. Now that we've taken out the lows of June, by the way, this is a good thing. Some people out there may be thinking it's a bad thing that we've taken out the lows of June. It's not. Here's why. The fact that we've taken out the lows of June, we're below it, it's actually a positive thing in this respect because now Bitcoin has another chance to persuade us and show to us what kind of a structure the next rally will be. In other words, now we have another chance, a new chance, a new opportunity for Bitcoin to show to us what kind of a rally we will see, if, by the way, we see a rally. So, for example, notice I put this line here, uh, here at the closing highs. I'm using the closing price of Bitcoin. So if we go on the on this closing price chart. That's at uh, 21,300. OK, that's where I put the line, that silver line, 21,300. Watch that level very closely because that's going to be the threshold between bulls and bears. OK, as long as Bitcoin remains below 21,300, the closing highs in November, Bitcoin still remains at risk. In other words, as long as Bitcoin continues to remain below 21,300, the closing highs of November, uncertainty and risk still remains quite highly elevated. We have to be very cautious and very careful. But here's the good news. The good news is if Bitcoin can now start a rally, watch this level carefully. If Bitcoin in the next few weeks, by the end of December, if it can rally above this resistance at 21,300, and again, we don't know yet if the rally has began or started, it might have, but it might start from the lower levels. We don't know just yet from which point Bitcoin is going to start that major rally. Again, it could be from near current levels. It could be from slightly lower levels. That's not the point. That's not important. What matters is how it rallies, how it goes up. So, for example, if it goes up in something like this in five waves that are not overlapping, brilliant, fantastic. OK, but if it goes up in something like this, higgledy piggledy, wibbly wobbly overlapping structure or just a three wave structure like that, then forget it. No, we're not interested in any of these because those are corrective structures. They're much more risky. They are not dependable. And again, whatever rally Bitcoin does, it must be able to take out and close above 21,300. And if that happens, that would give us a much higher probability that Bitcoin has likely started a multi-month rally and uptrend. By the way, guys, make sure you watch my next video, because in the next video, I'm going to talk to you about this two week chart of Bitcoin. There's a two week chart of BTC, and it actually has an important clue. I'm going to share with you a very interesting and important clue on this chart that could have major consequences for the price of Bitcoin in the next few weeks and months going to next year in 2023. One final thing to mention here before I finish the video is quite important, which is this. Many of you have been asking me about our LT Elliott Waves indicator. Now, as you know, we have an indicator which I actually developed. It took me a very long time to develop and produce this indicator, and that's called the LT Elliott Waves indicator, as you can see here. And here's a very special offer for you. You can get our LT Elliott Waves indicator at a very special discount. By the way, the very same discount we offered when we first released this indicator. And you can go on this link you see here, leadingtrader.com forward slash EWT, and then apply this promo code, promo code EW special. So when you enter that promo code into the box, it will take off $200 off the price for you at a very special discount price. And by the way, this offer expires at the end of November on Black Friday. All right, guys, so it's only for a limited time. And by the way, when you get the LT Elliott Waves indicator, you will also receive our new LT Elliott Waves 2.0 indicator, which is going to be released by January. That's January 2023. So you will also be included to receive our LT Elliott Waves 2.0 indicator, the brand new version for TradingView by January. And by the way, you'll get the new version, the 2.0 version for free. So no extra charge for the new updated version. All right, guys, so you can go ahead now on this link that is leadingtrader.com forward slash EWT and apply the promo code. Again, EW special is the promo code and you get $200 off the price. And again, remember this special offer is only for the coming month of November. It expires on Black Friday. Thank you very much indeed, guys. I look forward to seeing the next video update. Bye for now.